Hi everyone, James Pira here, Product Marketing Manager for MSC Software. We're back today with another MSC Apex Highlight Reel, and here we'll be showing you the latest updates in MSC Apex 2021, which came out right before the holiday last year in December 2020. In this release, we came out with some pretty cool new technology, and I'm here to show you the highlights. Just a reminder though, this is by no means an exhaustive list of all the new tech, so if that's what you're looking for, we recommend you watch our What's New presentation, which is about an hour long and goes into much more detail. And you can find that on our website and on our YouTube page. This one is just hitting the highlights. So having said that, let's get right into it. The first two things you'll notice when you fire up Apex 2021 is that the visualization toolbar at the top has changed. You'll see we've got a new icon. And also we have a new toolbar on the right hand side. We'll get into that toolbar a little bit later in the video, but for now, let's talk about this new handy dandy icon, Exploded View. We've developed this tool so that users can have an easier time understanding complex assemblies, like the one you see here, which is an automotive V8 engine. If you, the structural analyst, were tasked with setting up a full fem for this, it would be a quite a difficult task, especially when setting up things like joints and connectors between each of the parts. When users have to do things like mesh parts or define things like joints or connectors, this is easier now because you have visual access to parts of your model that otherwise might have been hidden in the standard view. And if we switch over to post-processing, this new exploded view is also helpful to us because now we can see the results of each part of our model without having to hide a bunch of things first. The next item that we're going to highlight for you here is something that's been in the works for quite a while. And a lot of you have asked for this over the years, but it's been a very difficult task to do. And we're pleased to tell you that we finally cracked the code on it. On this model, you see here in Apex 2020 Feature Pack 1, if we do an automatic defeature, the fillets don't quite automatically disappear, like what you would expect. Why is that? Well, that's because these are not actual true fillets in the strictest sense of the word, because the two faces that the fillet touches, if extended, don't ever intersect. Therefore, here at MSC, we call these little troublemakers cliff fillets, and now Apex 2021 can handle them just like any other fillet. Okay, so next up, we'll talk about the big new solving technology available in this release, Thermal Expansion, which works for both the internal solver and MSC Nastran, and it works exactly the same no matter what solver you're using. And it works for both metals and composites, so again, you don't need to worry about that either. This is a big new capability, so we won't be able to go into all the details here in this video, but at least here on this classic example model, you can see what it looks like. At a basic level, we've got a bimetallic strip with node to node connection between each layer. And when we apply a thermal load to it, run it, you can see what it looks like in the results. Here you can see that the metal with the lower CTE, or coefficient of thermal expansion, has expanded less than the other one, thus causing a curved strip and thus induces internal stresses. But for a more realistic, real-world example of this thermal expansion technology, let's bring up a typical aircraft soak analysis, where we look at an aircraft's wing sitting in ideal conditions, i.e. 20 degrees Celsius or like 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So maybe an example of this is an aircraft sitting in an airport in London during springtime. Then apply a delta to it. For example, maybe this plane is instead of being in London, it's sitting on the tarmac in Cairo, Egypt on a really hot day in the peak of summer. And for a typical thermal soak analysis, let's apply a 200 degree Fahrenheit delta to it. Here you can see the results. With this new capability, you can now see the effects temperature has on your finite element models. Okay, now let's switch gears a little bit and talk about post processing. And in this release, Apex delivered in a very big way. Here, we'll show you three new pieces of technology that should impact your analysis post-processing and allow you to do way more in Apex. First, Apex can now import Nastran OP2 results files, which for Nastran 2017 and older was really the default results file format that everybody used. Before this 2021 release, Apex users were limited to only using HDF5 files, which was only available in Nastran 2018 and later. But since a lot of our customers still use earlier versions of Nastran, they weren't able to use any of this new Apex post-processing functionality, which was very frustrating. Well, now we've alleviated this frustration and Apex now works with both OP2 files as well as HDF5 files, and every feature and function works exactly the same, no matter what type of results file you have. 
Also available in Apex 2021's post-processing is multi-view functionality, as well as the ability to create shear bending moment torque diagrams, otherwise known as SBMT or VMT diagrams. Here you can see an example of both new technologies in action together, where we take an aircraft wing and show a vector plot of the cross-section force sensors as one window on the left, and on the right, the SBMT diagram is displayed, showing the responses of each of those sensors. And since we have the capability to expand even more windows than just these two, let's expand it to four windows, and let's also add in the vector plot of the beam spans for the wings on the left, and the SBMT plot for those beams on the right. And just like everything else in Apex, this view automatically updates based on whatever the user chooses to show, whether it be a subassembly of the model or even just one part if you want. And for the last new highlight of this video, let's go back and talk about that new toolbar you saw on the right hand side of your screen. Those three new icons I mentioned earlier in the video, which are fastener tools, query tools, and utilities. Now, these new tools were not developed by our product development team here at MSC, but instead they were proudly made by our ever-growing Apex Python scripting community, which includes all of you watching this video now. And we felt that these tools were so valuable that we needed to make them available to everyone who uses Apex. Thus, the Apex Utilities menu was born. These community-created tools will change over time, and some of these tools are just a starting point to other technology that will eventually make it into future versions of core MSE Apex. But for now, these tools are available to all of you today, and hopefully you find them as useful as we have here at MSC. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to check out any of our other videos, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get notified when our newest videos arrive. Thanks, and take care.